Hello and welcome to Conversations on Consciousness. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about how to meditate with a light machine. Now, this is a question that I often get with, with light machines in the past or, you know, and present people using them, is that there, there is no right or wrong way to, to enjoy light machines. However, you have to understand that light is an energy, light is a portal, that light, the light machine is, is a tool for consciousness that enables you to access different states of consciousness by using brainwave rhythms through, through light pulses to change your brainwave frequency from alpha, theta, delta, um, and many other different states of, of consciousness, you know, brainwave activity. For me, when I use a light machine, I use it as a vortex to take me, to pull me into, into a deeper state. Now, when you're with the light machine with closed eyelids, you need to be looking up 45 degrees through your third eye. So you're not just looking straight ahead, you're looking up through here. And when you do, you start to see the light machine in a different way. And you start to play with the light machine in, a, in an emotional way. That If you have any baggage, this is a very important thing to understand, is that if you have any emotional baggage, any trauma, any negativity, that you can use the, the light machine in front of you to to suck away, to pull away in any of that stuff. And I've found people to be very emotional when this happens, that they can often have the light machine as almost like it's an entity, it's like a being, it's a being of light almost, that when you give off the things that you no longer serve you into the light, then it can be a very emotional experience. And with that, you have patterns, you have colors, um, vortexes, geometry going on. And it can be a very powerful, beautiful, beautiful experience. The light machine is a very powerful tool that, um, you know, working with, um, with it can be a beautiful, ecstatic experience. And just like meditation, sometimes you're going to have good days, sometimes you're going to have bad days. Not, not bad, but sometimes you're going to have re rewarding sessions. And others, you're going to have, not empty sessions, but it's going to happen sometimes where you're going to feel like, okay, that was okay, but it wasn't as good as the breathtaking experience that I had then. Like some always a first person experience on the light machine is completely different. It's breath breathtaking, it's like wow, this is amazing. And it is every time. But the emotional feeling that you get from the light machine the very first time is completely different. But working with the light machine, how to meditate with it, is using it like a portal of light, of energy. And and, and believe me, it's it's helped me and many, many others in my events that I do in the past, and, and, and currently people who I support um, across the community who, who use light machines for their own development, for health, for mindfulness, that I ask them, hey, just work with the light in a way that it's like a being, that it's there looking after you, it's like your guide. And when they do, they allow themselves to surrender because it's almost like you forget that it is a, it is a piece of technology, that really it's light. And that familiarity that you get with the light machine is a familiar feeling you get with the essence of like big G, the universe, something other than ourselves, other than consciousness, is that there is something else that is intelligent there looking at us, giving attention to us. Light in our life is very, very important. And when we have that connection with light, you know, not just our inner light of our consciousness, but I'm talking about a physical light that is there, a presence. It feels there is a presence there enabling us without communication, or just with a feeling that although it is not a physical being, that is not a, it is not an, um, you know, an intelligent being viewing us. It is light itself, and it's just giving us a frequency. So the way I work with a light machine is allow myself to surrender into the light and to give off anything that's negative into the light itself, using it as a portal portal to suck away like a vortex any of the negative stuff it's almost like a a cosmic hoover <laughs> sucking away all the the stuff and giving light on all the dark spaces within myself you know I'm not saying I'm, I'm dark but you know the, the bits that need healing and I found that to be very emotional and very powering um, yeah just a quick video really just to, just to share that that yeah you use the light in such a way that is powerful and if you don't have access to a light machine then go out in nature um, use sunlight and just look at it absorb 
absorb the rays onto your skin and just really push out any of that darkness that perhaps is around your heart, around your mind, depression, past experiences that you want to banish. Just put it into the light and just allow it to take it and allow the, the light to transform that, that negative dark emotion into something beautiful and light and positive. And trust me, I'm sure that it's going to change things. And if it's not light and sunny outside, then use a candle, you know, just look into the candle or stare at it, at it stare into the, the natural flame, you know, just, just flickering away, just, you know, being there very peacefully and just don't go into a trance with it, but just really just meditate with it. Meditating with the candle is a beautiful experience, you know, just as more so than using a light machine, but light machines are programmed in a certain way to give us an experience to Take us on a journey, the journey of the light, and use that journey of the light to go into natural light. And of course, remember your own light. Your own light is, is important to, to share in this world for your own journey, for others to see and experience, for your own, own personal journey, to shed the light on the most darkest of places. So thanks for watching. Keep the light with you always, and I'll speak to you again next time. Goodbye.